another live stream. How's everybody doing? Uh, we're going to be back continuing our playthrough of State of the K2. We're doing this hardcore lethal challenge. I got all of the um, challenge rules in the description below, uh, but mainly we're playing with no play cures. Uh, we can't craft repair kits. Uh, we can't buy repair kits. We can loot repair kits, which obviously means we're only going to be able to get like six or seven across the whole entire map. Um, and then we're not allowed to craft bullets, which we're trying to make ammo a little more scarce. Now, I am allowed to break down ammo rucksacks um, in the supply locker or in my inventory for bullets, but there's no target crafting like 9 mil. Like, I can't get a, 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 you know, a handgun ammo press and craft a bunch of 9 mil. Like, we're, we're not allowing ourselves to do that. So, so far, it is, it's been a good time. So far, it's been a good time. But I do appreciate you guys for coming and hanging out. Now, um, let me see. Mr. Green Virus asks, uh, really appreciate your content. Enjoy it. Just one thing regarding the update 30 and infestation changes. Did you see the in-game update notes? I am confused with your statement. So uh, from what I'm tracking, Mr. Green, there is no changes. Like um, what, what, what was happening is when we were testing the beta, the infestation changes were in the beta. But those infestation changes are being changed. Like it's not like what we've seen in beta isn't what they're actually getting. So that's why I was saying that none of the infestation changes... Um, are actually in update 30 it's 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 all the same but i was under the impression when joe swarner was talking about it it might not have made it in but he 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 was talking about the you know how the right now and when you kill an infestation you have to kill the screamer and then the zombies well i was under the impression that the only having to kill the screamers part of the beta was actually going to be a part of this update but then it never ended up being that way so all right so let me see all right so we are back we're also playing on drecker county not a bad map not a bad map at all we've actually been getting a pretty good amount of ammo um we had our, our looting was great um in the beginning like really really good yeah you should try fortnite save the now isn't that like the zombie part of Fortnite? I thought that's what Fortnite was supposed to be initially. We've got an offer for you. Hmm. Okay, let's get hey all neighbors, this. Hey neighbors, we're what's left of the old hospital staff. We have medical skills to train. If you're interested. Hmm. So I am interested in talking to them, um, because I think they are going to have. Uh, well, let me check my DPI real quick, guys. I can't see it when. All right, so we'll go ahead and drop that. Uh, but they might have uh, repair or not repair kits, uh, first aid kits for sale. So I am in the market for that. But we also got to start building up uh, enclaves around the map and looking at recruiting some more survivors. So where is that group at? So there's the medics. I actually might go do some missions with them. Generally, you guys know I don't really do missions all that much um, unless I have to. But... Now, the thing is, I don't have to farm the map anymore for a survivor if I want to. I can use the new um, legacy survivor uh, system, which we actually might do now that I'm thinking about it. So we'll hold off. Uh, but I do want to still go do the missions for these guys. All right, grab that. I do not want to let that screamer bring friends. Grab those. Carry a little bit of fire on us, and we are looking... Good. Edward Hippo with the 19 months, man. Thank you so much. How are you doing today? All right. So don't, let me see if I have anything I want to bring them to trade. Uh, we could sell the bat. We'll sell them that. And I'll sell the seeds. Mm, that might be that. Nope, it's down there. Hmm. Got some interesting missions popping up. I'm always down to check out Mysterious Broadcast because you could sometimes get the one that gives you the uh, the biochem. All right, so I guess we'll swing by. Uh, check this out really quick. It's on the way to these guys. And we'll throw an extra gas can in the trunk. 
Leave the gas in the trunk. We'll go talk to that the people. It's on the way. George! Hey, man, get that good sleep if you need to, man. I appreciate you for hanging out. So, sunlight is coming. You gotta be super careful driving, as you guys know. I've already lost the car. And with the new- with the challenge rules, the car blows up, that's it. No fixing it. I do not want to know what makes plague territory smell this bad. Samantha, how you doing? Vesna, how you doing? Okay. So this horde should not follow all the way down. Say I expected to find everyone like this. Oh, crossbow killer. Okay, so this kind of works out because we can get we can get the crossbow killer recruited and we can also get the crossbow. Um The horde stays over there. So yeah, getting our hands on... Oh. I didn't know this, you know, this bell club is so heavy. Infestation. Time to do something. Okay. No sets around, but yeah. I can't secure the place with a plague heart close Um, by. but yeah, we can get the repeating crossbow, and that's a really good weapon. Especially in a challenge like this where bullets are gonna be kinda hard to come by. Uh you know what we'll take we'll take one ultralight in this bat. Throw this stuff in the trunk. I might even grab the bag of Food while we're in here. Why are you mad? They're doing us a favor. That's the thing. The crossbow killer is not all that bad. Uh, crossbow killer goes around killing uh, hostile enclaves. Incognito with the super tab. Brother, thank you so much. How are you doing today? Okay, so we're going to grab these bolts because I'm, I plan on getting my hands on that crossbow, so. And Lawrence again asking about the Pirate 101. I don't know what that is. Man, I've never even heard of that. Boring. There it is. Alright, so we'll drop that in there, drop that in there, and... Uh, we played Green Hell on the channel already. That That's a very hardcore survival game. It was a good time. True Winner, how you doing today? Where the food at, man? Uh, Pirate 101 is an adventure game on PC. Yeah, I've never, I've never heard of it. The only pirate game I think I've really played was uh, Black Flag, and then I know we got that Skull and Bones. Ooh. Hmm. It's good. To Good grab right there. Okay, so I don't think this place actually has food. I think the last container's up on the roof. Might have food up there, but I'm not going to waste time going and checking that. We'll uh, go link up with this crossbow killer.
I think we'll be playing Scum tomorrow. Yeah, I love Black Flag. It was so good. It's watching out for the bloaters. Bloaters are pretty much a death sentence in this playthrough since we can't use play cures. I was, I was the, uh, George, yeah, the, so when it comes to the State of Decay first person mod, I was actually the first person ever in the world to really showcase that on YouTube. Um, the original version of it. I have videos on my channel, uh, when it was being made. This bell club's actually putting in work, man. I'm not... <laughs> not gonna lie, man. Okay, so since we... Do we have enough beds? I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, we got enough beds. You gotta make sure you have enough beds and you have enough... Uh, you don't have more than four survivors or you can't recruit uh, the crossbow killer. You gotta kill that screamer. Now take its head off. Okay, so we want to take care of this really quick. Hey, never mind. That's a that's a screamer horde. Or a choir. Now that's using your head. There it is. Let me show you your new home. So let's see. She's music. Really not a good trait. Um I might actually just use her as uh, fodder, plague, plague, uh, plague heart fodder. Yeah, the uh, Dead Island 2 looks good. Uh, Leonzo, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy your uh, your first SOD stream. I'm listening. Okay. Oh, I could trade with her right now. I'm listening. So what have we got today? So, yeah. Sure. She's considered good. an enclave on side her back to base, so we're gonna sell all the crap we don't need. Mr. Green Virus 5 donated $19.99. You're awesome. I really appreciate that, Mr. Green. Thank you so much for that donation. That is huge, man. It really means a lot. I, I do appreciate it. All right, here we go. Um, Yeah, fishing is really good. Uh, you get, you know, plus two food a day. Recycling is really good. Yeah, there's some really good fit, uh, skills out there. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep these melee weapons. Yes. I feel like we're gonna have to be using a lot more melee later on in the game. Okay, let's get her back to base. Raymond, hey, with the super chat, thank you so much. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying it. And butcher, how you doing? All right, so here we go. Let's get. Let's get her home. And then we'll go link up with the medics. Yeah, so when you're doing a challenge type of run, the thing about it, guys, is you can't get too attached to your survivors. Uh, having fodder characters is meta. Like, you don't know me, but I'd like you to become my neighbor. Here in Trumbull Valley, we're looking for good folks willing to work hard to rebuild this land. And what I mean by fodder is survivors that 
You're just going to play with until they die and then that's it? Like, it is what it is? So, like, this new survivor that I got, I really don't need her for anything. I might need, need uh, you know, to help me get into, like, a five-man base or something like that. But I could literally take her, load her up with some gear and equipment, and then go around just hitting play cards, right, until she dies. And then I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, well, if I just really, I could easily get one to two play cards. One to two play cards, you know, um, before she's killed off. And, you know, what am I going to lose except some morale? Like, you know what I mean? So... There's always that. But I know a lot of people, yeah, get attached to the survivors. They don't want to lose them for anything. Um, but once you get over that and you just, survivors are just tools. Excellent. Um, and when you play without the fear of them dying, it, it's a lot easier. So I'm actually going to grab that crossbow. I don't. Yeah, yeah. We're going to grab that crossbow. How many light bolts do I have? So we got 26 light bolts. Um, we're going to grab that crossbow off of her. I'm going to put... Give her the shotgun. What's going on, hun? But I am not that way when it comes to good survivors, guys. When there's, like, really good survivors... Oh yeah, of course I don't I don't want them to die, but the the ones like her, like music, what the hell do I need music for? If they're just pointless survivors with really bad fifth skills, hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna exile them anyways, so instead of exiling them, at least let me get some kind of use out of them. Okay, so well, we're sitting at what? 30 Yeah, 32 crossbow bolts? That's not bad. It should be enough for right now. And this is one of the best weapons in the game here, this uh, crossbow. And the only ways you can get it is from that mission that you guys have seen. So make sure if you guys go to a building, you see that the people are dead. They have crossbow bolts stuck into them. That is the crossbow killer. Now you can either threaten and kill the crossbow killer to get the crossbow if you have too many people in your community already. Or you can recruit them and get it. Um, or you could threaten them and say drop it on the ground. Um... And sometimes they'll drop it on the ground and just walk off. But yeah, it's definitely a good crossbow to get your hands on, especially in lethal zone. All right, let's head out. Uh, we're going to throw some gas in the truck. Uh, but you can also get it from the Echo Lab Trader. If the Echo Lab Trader shows up on your map, um, you can go ahead and get your hands on it that way too. Hey, not I'm Paul. Thank you so much for the super chat. Shout out for my for Leah, my daughter, please. Hey, Leah. Hey, how you doing today? Uh, not I really do appreciate the super chat. And uh, hey, let's get some hearts in the chat, guys, for Leah. I really appreciate it. It's extremely kind of you. I appreciate it. Yeah, so the thing is, if if you're trying to recruit the if you're trying to recruit the crossbow killer, and it keeps getting denied, um, what what's going on there is either a you don't have enough beds, so you have to make sure you have an available bed in your base, or b you have four people already. You can only recruit them if you have three people, I think yeah, three people, um, or less. Because I think as soon as you hit four people, or it might be four or less, or three or less, one of the two, um. Somebody might know more than me, but it's either three or four or less. Um, and that's the only way you can get them. The plague walls are on the Heartland map. So if you do the Heartland DLC for State of Decay 2, that's where you'll have to take down the plague walls. Raymond Yates with the super chat. Uh, sounds like life, right? Deal with it every day. Hey, there it is, Raymond. <laughs> Hey, I really appreciate that, seriously. Project Osiris, dispatch. POTUS is code 34. Exfil en route. Osiris, realign. Copy that.
Uh, Demetrius, how you doing? Okay, here we go. I don't know if that horde down there is going to follow me the whole way. We'll see. Okay, thanks for answering my call. We worked out the old hospital. We'd like to get back to saving lives. Um, so these guys are cool because you can set them up in the... Uh, you, you eventually got to get them a new base and infirmary and stuff like that. This is actually a pretty good enclave to have. Oh, shit. I forgot about this part. Okay, so we have enemy humans coming right now, and I don't have... Damn it. This is bad. I don't have enough ammo. You got something for me? Yeah. Got him. Okay, so the Enclave ended up losing a person, but it's all good. Rahul, man, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, your streams are awesome. Thanks for the fun. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Seriously. Uh, model 70, we'll grab that. That's a lot of stuff. Sell this crap to the Enclave while we're here. Not gonna fit. The only thing is, I think because that guy died, it's gonna cancel out their, um, their Enclave mission. We gotta see, though. I'm not sure. Glad you showed up when you did. If your people need anything, medicine, treatment... Just let us know. Thanks, buddy. Next one's on me. Catch you later. Okay, I'm gonna go empty out these bodies. So as you guys could see, yeah, she got real quick there, and uh I completely forgot about that mission that the uh that you gotta fight the hostiles. Now, if you're ever in that situation and you're out, you're outgunned, um you could just leave. Like there's nothing that's gonna hurt if you just leave that mission. Just, just screw it. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Uh, never risk your neck or risk your life, you know what I mean? Over something so stupid. Like an enclave. This will slow me down. But I wanted him. I, we were here. I was like, screw it. We'll, we'll try. And it worked out. It worked out. Okay, so we're good here. So 
sitting at about 1300 influence so i'm trying to think about i'm thinking about moving into this cabin park motel that that was uh the goal for this playthrough is i wanted to check this base out never really lived there before um you could salvage every item in the game now lady x everything everything uh can be broken down except like key quest items but yeah for the most part oh okay that's it's looking a little nasty over there we might actually have to go deal with that Yeah, let's go gear up and we'll go take care of those infestations before they that town gets out of control. Uh, do I have an outpost nearby? I have one right here. I was thinking about maybe getting some more crossbow bolts. But I think we'll, we'll be okay. We should be able to clear these with what we have. You know what? No, no. Let's be smart. Let's be smart about this. Let's go get some more bolts. Let's be smart about this. Yeah, truck's a little banged up, but hey, it is what it is. It's what we got. You know what I mean? Yeah, so Frank, uh, there's no plague cures allowed in the playthrough unless I can somehow magically loot one. I know there is a plague cure you can loot in the, the medical center here, but that's a little cheesy, so I'm kind of putting it off. But there's only one. So it's like, yeah, I could get my hands on a single plague cure. But that really won't do much for the the actual grand scheme of the playthrough. <laughs> Only downside of this bell club, man, it's super heavy. Hey, Mitch, with the super chat, new to the community, but glad I'm here now. Your videos got me into this game, and it's been a lot of fun so far. Cheers. I really appreciate the super chat, Mitch, and uh, hey, welcome. Welcome to the community, brother. I appreciate you being here, and uh, I'm glad that you're. Uh, I was able to put you on a good game, man. This game is amazing. Good game is amazing. Okay, so we're going to bring the crossbow. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to craft up a batch of bolts. Yeah, I can get 30. We can get 30 crafted. I don't have a mod for it, right? Nope. So yeah, we'll craft up 30 bolts. All right, we'll carry all them on us. That should be good. Uh, Big Daddy, thank you for the sub. And I think I'll bring one more uh, stack of fire. And I'm going to swap out this freaking melee weapon. Yeah, oh, it's 10 pounds. That's why. That thing is heavy, dude. Jesus. Um, fighting. Close combat. Close combat. So we don't even need to carry a melee weapon anymore. Top that off, and we should be good. Let's go do this. After I heal, I can't. I cannot craft ammo. Nope. Crafting ammo is again. Well, crafting bolts is fine, but I can't craft bullets. I was gonna make it so I couldn't craft bolts, but then I was like, Nah, it's a little. That's a little too much.
Uh, Daniel Rodriguez, thank you for the sub. But uh, crafting bolts is cool, but the problem is it competes with a rare resource, materials, and materials in Lethal Zone get pretty tight, so. Uh, Harris, thank you so much for the sub. And Anthony Lee with the super chat. Uh, dude, you're incredibly enjoyable to watch. Love you. I, I really appreciate that, Anthony. I seriously do, man. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you for the super chat. Ooh, that's that was close. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's cut across. Save some fuel. Now, Drucker. Traversing the map is a little bit of a pain. Um, it's not the easiest map to go off-roading in. Uh, and it's very, very fuel inefficient because you got to stick to the roads for the most part. Sticking around here too long would not be smart. But that just right there cut off a lot of the drive, so... No, so I'm allowed to I'm allowed to uh, loot toolkits, but we cannot craft them or buy them from traders. So the only the only toolkits I can use are the ones that are on the map, and after they're gone, that's it. Um, and if my car blows up completely, like skadoosh gone, um, I'm not allowed to fix it. If it's fully exploded and anything in a trunk um, is out of play, so the car and the contents in the car at the moment of explosion are out of play. You know, I've never really explored this area of Drucker County. This uh, top part of the map here. No, we're still allowed to craft stuff, just not bullets. No bullets, no play cures, no toolkits. So we're going to park on this wall here. Okay, so let's see. First one is over here in the pawn shop. I can upgrade cards, yeah. Skadoosh. Hey, Lady X with the super chat. Thank you so much. Yeah, close combat is a very, very good and underrated skill. Um, it's, it's very, very overlooked. I mean, over the the years of me, you know, using it and showcasing it, I feel, I feel like not just me, but other people too. Um, have brought a, shed a little more light on the skill, but I feel like it's still a very underutilized skill. Yeah, that was most of that infestation now, but Lady X, thank you for the super chat. Secure the place with a play card close by. So I was able to get one of the bolts back. All right, so that's one infestation down. Next one is going to be over in the spooning cone on the corner here. Good. I gotta rest this up. Not. 
but what, not thank you so much for the super chat. What does that mean? Before I go saying bad words, you know, I'm all about saying bad words, especially bad words in other languages. But what does it mean, not? Thank you for the super chat. Oh, it means good night? What language is it? So what is it? Uh Bon Bon Nui? Bon Nui. Leah. Bon Nui. I hope I didn't say anything bad to you. No, people said it. Bon. Like bonjour, but bon nui. Should be most of them. Now that we've taken out these infestations, right, that's... the town doesn't feel quite so fucked. All these ones are pretty easy. All glass storefronts, one fire bomb or fuel bomb. Easy, easy infestations, man. <laughs> they, they could send those over here all day. Uh, while we're here, um, let me see. Is there? A, yep, Dewey's Hardware right there. We can get some materials from there, and. Shit, I might even grab another bag of food while we're over here. Might as well, right? So this is why I like this crossbow, because it's a vi it's a viable crossbow for ferals. Um, compared to other... I mean, you can use the other crossbows against ferals also. But this one, it just makes life a little bit easier. Like, I'll show you guys. Oh, that's a feral. Um, it's just, it's so much easier to get away with, um, compared to the other ones, because you gotta, like, you gotta, like, time your, your reloads with the other crossbows, and it's, it, it's, it really is a pain in the ass, but this one, you can literally just, like, hit them up like, like you're using a gun almost, and then it's, it's just, it's easy clap. <laughs> that's Flanderlin says uh, I know how to say I have a plan in all languages there it is did you already uh, did you think uh, where you would actually go in scum what's your next objective um, Alec I, I, I honestly I haven't thought about it um I have not thought. I, we wanted to prep up and actually try a real bunker. I, I know that's a goal. Getting into an actual bunker would be dope. Incognito. Am I playing Scum today? I, I'm not sure. Probably not. But if not today, we're definitely playing it tomorrow. But Incog, thank you so much for the super chat. I do appreciate it. There we go. So we got a bag of materials. Sometimes you can get two out of this place, but I think we might only get one. No luck in here. play strictly checks uh, see if i were to do a strictly chess stream i would just play on chess.com and then i would whoop all of you guys who dare challenge me the greatest chess player of all time <clears throat> Think I've searched everywhere oh I there can. it is got a freaking toolkit that is gold
Goddamn rucksack hit the window, man. So just so you guys that don't really know much about close combat, close combat shines. Like the strong part of the close combat skill is um, when the zombies are on the ground. So a lot of the skill is trying to get behind a zombie or trying to get the zombie on the ground. That was a good shot right there. Hell yeah. Took a little bit of a, a hit there, but nothing crazy. So uh, empty some more of the stuff into the trunk. Let that clear, and then we're gonna go. Uh, I think I'm gonna go grab a bag of food. Got to do the stream with the Playboy. I mean. The chances of one of you guys being a down, like a secret grandmaster in chess is pretty high, man. Catbird Studios donated $25. Payday was today, so oh. here's for your cotton candy fund. Catbird, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That is so kind of you. With the huge donation, I really appreciate it. All right, let's get in here. Grab a bag of food really quick. Was it, I, you guys see what I meant by this crossbow? It's so good. So the infection meter will drop over time um, while your people are. It just takes a long time. Now, if you want to speed that up, uh, you go here, you put, and you can uh, have the person lay down in one of the plague beds. And uh, it accelerates the, the healing. Oh, we got a rare skills trader. Now, the rare skills trader is attractive to me because of the amount of influence they have. Not that, because I, I can't even really afford the books. Did I play chess competitively? No, no, no. Um, I, I'm self-taught. I uh, I got about two and a half months worth of chess.com experience. I'm about 600 ELO. Uh, I've beaten a bunch of chess bots up to, I'm stuck on David, 1400 ELO on chess.com. So yeah, I'm a... Uh, I've learned all my openings and stuff by watching YouTube videos and shit like that, so. T-Games, thank you for the sub. Yeah, no food. And Lucas, with the membership, welcome to the family. I really appreciate you. How you doing today? Thomas Lee, how you doing? Okay, so we don't want to exert ourselves too much uh, because she is tired. Okay, so I'm just going to try to get in here, grab this bag of food, and get out. Definitely take those. I'm not doing bad, Lucas. Not doing bad at all. Uh, yeah, I could still use the plague beds, and I could still use infection therapy. Just no plague cures. So once my people are fully plagued... But I, I, I can still do everything in my power to avoid that from happening. Minus taking a plate gear. <laughs> and I'm out.
Uh, Pepper, I appreciate that. Thank you for saying something so nice. X8 Tiger, how you doing? My day's been going good. How about yourself? And I appreciate the sub, Tiger. You guys can see we're already down a half uh God, i am so sick of plague zombies half of our stamina meter being gone so i want to start prepping up to take on some hearts I feel like we got a decent amount of weapons at the moment. We got some survivors. Um, we're going to prep up for hearts while also thinking on who I want to recruit from my legacy pool. Or we could just recruit another survivor. It doesn't really matter. Either way, uh, getting a fifth survivor and moving over into the motel. I'm going to need... We need a thousand influence and one more survivor, so... I, I was, uh, yeah, Darth, I was one of the, I was the person that named the Dark Side mod, the Dark Side mod. I'm, I'm one of the co-creators. I was the one that came up with all the uh, initial ideas and plans and stuff for the mod, uh, the balance. Um, I even came up with the, the logo, you know, the half human, half zombie. And uh, yeah, that, that, was, that was me and Zero. We, we made that mod together. Sampler. I'm actually going to do that mission. We can use the influence. It's a big horde. Let's go on. Uh... Leah, go to bed. Hey, don't make Paul tell you again. No, I'm just kidding. Get that good sleep, Leah. You need it. All right? You need to get that good sleep. I know I, I, I'm, a, I'm a hypocrite for saying it because I don't get enough. I don't get enough of that good sleep myself. But, uh, yeah, Leah, hey. Good night. Get that good sleep, all right? And, uh, Paul, again, I appreciate the super chat. All right, let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and we'll give we'll give him the model seven or her to model seventy for base defense. Yoon, let's see what let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Um, one more star until maxing out her fighting. Nice, 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 nice. Grab those, grab those, those, and bolts. I had this aunt who lived somewhere around here and fancied herself a survivalist. I wonder if she made it this long. Mm. That kind of makes me actually want to play with Cole. So the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do these missions right now, guys, missions are one of the best ways to farm influence in State of Decay. Um, it's a very, very solid way to just get a bunch quick. 
Uh, so they want plague samples. Yeah, so you know what? We're going to swap over to Cole. We'll bring uh, you now another time. Okay, I'm actually going to break down this. Uh, break down one of these. Break down this. And hey guys, I'll break down this. Found a few things while I was out. Okay, cool. Um, I'll keep the sawn off for now. Getting all over it. Wow, that pistol was super broken. When did we shoot that? I don't even recall shooting that all that much for it to be that broken. Uh, but also we got a crappy suppressor on it, so I don't I'm not I'm surprised. Sure I like the way things have been going lately. Our morale's kind of low, so our people are gonna be a little pissy. They're gonna be a little upset. Oh, that machete's super broken too. Grab the tacti hawk. Okay. So I think the plague sampler mission, I'm not sure, but I think they want at least, it's like three to five. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. So I'm just going to bring five just in case. Uh, Red Dead Depression asks, how many hours do you have in State of Decay 2? Um, like eight, like six months ago. So it was probably even longer than that. I had like five, I was about 5,000 hours. Uh, Red, and, and then I just stopped counting. So... Probably more than a lot more than five thousand hours. I had a lot. <laughs> I had a lot. I pretty much played this game almost exclusively on my YouTube channel for like a lot a long time, man. Like a year and a half probably. And then uh, we started branching out in other games. Cause you guys blessed me with that opportunity. Okay, so let's drop these off. And then we'll hit the amp prepper on the way back. Uh, what was the most scared you've been in a game? It's a good question, actually. Um, I would have to say... It was either Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 7 had me pretty on edge. And I'm not going to lie, guys. That Madison... That game we played recently, man. That game was fucking... It was pretty good. <laughs> it was pretty scary. Okay, so that we don't want. Um, that's just a bad day waiting to happen for me, so... We'll just get rid of that right now. Visage was scary, but Madison... Madison made me feel like I had heart problems. Now, uh, Wolf's the thing for the sub. I'm trying to see if I can recover some bolts, but I'm not going to waste my time. Get him later. In the right place. Damn, he's a striker, and I gave him a damn bladed weapon. Such a noob. Anybody home? Raymond Yates with another super chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, what's the next game? Uh, we need some division. Yo, the division is definitely a game that's on the list for sure. Uh, so we got a couple new games coming to the channel, guys. Uh, I haven't I haven't put my thumb on exactly which ones I want to play, but like tomorrow, for instance, we're gonna be starting a new game. I beat Star Wars, so we're gonna have something coming in to replace Star Wars. Um, and I I I, I want to get 
Resident Evil done too. Uh, so I'm, I'm like, I, I don't know. I was thinking about bringing Resident Evil back, you know, with because we got Spider Man that's gonna be beat soon. Uh, we got we got a bunch of stuff we're working on. So, but um, some of the series that I was thinking about maybe just. Because I don't even, the thing is, is I could have in my mindset, like, oh, yeah, you know what? I want to do a series on Far Cry 3, which I do. Um, and I could be like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to do this series, you know, starting tomorrow. Say I start Far Cry 3 tomorrow uh, because you know, I want to try all the Far Cry games out. I could, I could have that in my brain as a plan, right? But then I, I play it on the channel and then boom, nobody wants to watch it. Uh, that was damn lucky. so that that's the 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 actual issue is I can have my mind set on a game and then try to play it and then it just does terrible and then I just made all this space for this game I got super stoked about playing it so that's why I'm uh well, let's get backpack that's why I'm generally a little hesitant on uh just starting a bunch of brand new stuff because it just gets shot down so quick. <laughs> yeah, I play Daisy. Yeah, I got two playthroughs of Days Gone. If you guys go to my ho my homepage, uh, we got a playthrough of Days Gone right there. We're completely out of fuel, by the way, guys. I didn't even realize that. See, the problem with poles is they only give me so many options. Uh, like I can only do like four or five options with a pole. Um, and we have done polls, you know, that, like, like we did a poll and that's why I started with, uh, that's why we played Watch Dogs over the other games. Um, so I'm, I'm, st I'm still thinking on it. There it is. Found it. I found one of my aunt's prepper plans. It's in code, but if I decipher it, maybe I can figure out where she Come went. back to this place. Uh, you know, we talked about that in the chat about doing a Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough. Now, the only problem is that's a very long game. That game took me, like, you know, two and a half months to beat. Uh, but we talked about doing a 100% pure savage uh, playthrough on Red Dead Redemption. But like I said, that's a game we've already played. So, you know, if like, for instance, if I if I say, hey, you know, we're going to do Red Dead Redemption 2, right? Like, say I do decide to do that. The problem with that is now we just lock down a slot that we could play, you know, games we haven't played for like two and a half, three months because Red Dead is long. Red Dead is super long. So it's like, do we want to lock down, uh, you know, another uh, one of our game slots with a game we've already played? Or uh, do we want to start, you know, move on and keep playing new stuff? And then eventually when we... And the thing is, it's hard for me because, I, you know, 13 million years of my life I was in the military. Didn't really uh, spend much time playing video games. So I have a huge backlog of video games. I feel like I can, I'll never get through, right? Um... But it's like, if we ever do end up in a a, a show hole or, or a game hole where, you know, we don't really have any games to play, yeah, of course, you know, that's when we can go ahead and jump back in and play, you know, games we've never played, or games we've already played, but just maybe do, like, challenges and shit like that. Uh, but, hey, Red Dead Depression, uh, did you, did the Red Dead 2 ending touch, it was, it was, it was rough, Red Dead, I, it, it, it hit me hard, it hit me hard. Uh, you should try Outbreak Island. I've never even heard of that, Incognito. Thank you for the super chat, guys, by the way. Shit. Uh, but, you know, so the games I'm thinking about putting into rotation right now, uh, a couple games I've never played, like Far Cry 3, you know, because I want to play Far Cry 3, Far Cry Primal 4 and 5, and then, you know, 6 if you guys are interested. 
But then, I'm, then with the new Dead Island 2 reveal, I'm like, yo, I, I kind of want to play Dead Island also because I've never played that game. Oh, the Division 2. Yeah, we, we played the Division 2 about a week ago on my 50K or a week and a half ago or whatever on my 50K celebration. I, I loved it. I loved it. But with the super chat, guess what? What you're gonna say, chicken butt, right? Um, Muhammad, we have. I've already played uh, Days Gone on the channel twice. It's uh, one of my top, one of my top zombie games for sure. Thanks. Sure thing. Take care now. Okay, so let's go ahead trade with these guys. So we need gas. I was thinking about checking this gas station here. And then there's a fuel site down here too that we can hit. And that will get us maybe two rucks. I got... I, we, yeah, we played Alan Wake on the channel. I got a playlist of that also. Oh, See guys, now she makes me feel like an idiot. Because I thought she was going to say chicken butt. I love you too, babe. Thank you so much. And I thought she was going to say chicken butt. Oh, the list of games I haven't played yet? It's massive. Oh, like, it's massive. Okay. Yeah, so... Should I just walk up to here? Because it is an active play cart. So I think we're going to walk up here. Yeah, I know. I know, Caspi. Yeah, if you guys go to my channel homepage, right? If you go to the channel homepage and on, on YouTube and you check all, like, so many of the games we've already played, I got listed on there. Um, or if you click the playlist button, uh, you guys can just scroll through that and it'll show you guys the majority of the games that we have played on the channel already. And Days Gone is, like, the very first game on that list. shot you never do get used to the smell this crossbow is as my man butcher would say diabolical yeah we played green hell take that Please let this be the gas. I've never played any no, no, like Nintendo games. I have not played, like Breath of the Wild. I've, I, I have not played that game, even though I heard it's really good. We have a Nintendo Switch in the house, so I mean, I could potentially play it, but I don't even know how to set that shit up for stream. Forty-two parts. I wouldn't mind some friendly help about now. Uh, we'll sell some stuff to the Enclave over here. Screw it. Sell the rest of those, even though I should have kept them, but it is what it is. I need the inventory. Got the fuel. Okay. 
Okay, so we're getting to the point where I'll, I'm almost, I can almost afford the base. I'll sell that. What's going on, hun? Let's tackle. Sure, sounds good. Uh, another game series uh, that, that I wanted to check out that's like a huge game series that I've, I've honestly never dipped my toes into yet is um, I wanted to check out Final Fantasy, but I, I don't want to go back and play the other games. I, I was going to start by playing Final Fantasy VII Remake um, and seeing how that went. So I think it's down the hill here. We take the... Yeah, seriously? It's clear, but I can't really secure this place with a plague heart so close by. Okay, so I don't think that juggernaut's going to come all the way this way. Okay, now he might. Final Fantasy 7 is the GOAT? Really? Get out of here. No, it's not. Is it really that good? Oh, uh, yeah. We played The Witcher 3 on the channel. Yep. We did a full playthrough of that and the DLCs. See if we can get some fuel out of here. We played some long dark on the channel too. That game that game is hard. That game is really hard. So we can stack that. Uh we'll grab the parts. Throw that in there. Raymond with the super chat. Uh, it says, tell us the best way to, to start gaming on YouTube. Please. So it all just depends on you. Um, there, I don't I, like, you know what I mean? There's, there's many people that do it many different ways. You know, I have my way, other people. Have, so there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just whatever works for you. Um, but I try to tell people if you want to get like, start streaming on YouTube, um, I would advise you to build up a like some sort of viewing before you try streaming because the hardest thing to do as a streamer is to sit there and try to you know stream to an audience that isn't there like when you when you have zero or one viewer that's just constantly watching there's nobody there it's hard for you to grow because you're just sitting you're, you're not you're not branching out and then you're just hoping that youtube is going to like send you out or twitch is going to you know recommend you so, so you're, you're just sitting there streaming to nobody so what you want to do is you got to network um, with uh, like, like anytime I would post a video back when I started, I would go on Reddit, the state of decay forum on Reddit, and I would promote my own video because YouTube's not going to promote me. I'm, I'm a, I'm a guy that <laughs> you four subscribers. What the fuck does YouTube care? You know what I mean? They're not going to promote my video. Uh, so I would have to promote myself. And that's what you have to do when you're first starting out is you have to promote your own content because YouTube's not going to do it for you. Um, and a lot of people don't grasp that concept. And they're like, oh, man, you know, I went out and I spent $10,000 on this awesome setup. I got, you know, the, the best microphone. I got the best computer, the best quality. I'm streaming in 4K. I got this. I got that. Why isn't anybody watching my stuff? Well, first of all, nobody knows who you are. You know, and, and YouTube's not promoting you. And so nobody's going to know who you are. So that's why you got to spend time uh, just networking, promoting your own content uh, and start. You know, I, it's, I feel it's easier to start making videos first. Radio broadcast, but I don't think so. 
Shram and Ivy donated $50. Shram, thank you so much for the huge donation. I really appreciate that. Holy crap. Hearts in the check, guys. That is extremely ni nice of you. I, I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, it's and, and just make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Uh, because I could tell you guys, uh, streaming and YouTube and gaming and stuff like that, there it, it's not a get rich quick. Um, it, it's not a get rich quick scheme. It's not uh, it, even when you do become successful. Uh, it's not like you make that much money. Uh, you know, there's probably some of you guys out there who are, um, you know, truck drivers or, you know, engineers or like if you make 60K a year, uh, you're doing better than 90% of the people on YouTube. Uh, honestly, it, it seems like a lot. But after, you know, after taxes and all that stuff come into play. It, it's just like a normal job, guys. It, but I just play video games instead of checking in on a nine to five. So you're not gonna you're not gonna be super rich. Um, so make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Uh, the, the the thing I ask myself and I ask other people is if is if I stop getting paid today, right? If I just stop making money today off of YouTube, would I still make YouTube videos? And if you cannot answer that question, yes then you're, you're getting into it for the wrong reasons. Um, YouTube has just become a part of me. Now, would I not, I, obviously I wouldn't do it as much as I do now because I would have to go get a job and stuff like that. But the first year I was, I did YouTube. I wasn't monetized. I didn't make a single penny, guys. The first year I did YouTube, didn't make really any money at all. Um, so you got to just make sure that you're doing it for, because it's something you enjoy doing it and not, not, because you're trying to become rich or the next doctor disrespect and stuff, because the chances of that happening uh, for any of us is, is so slim. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I do, I do it because I love it and I, I love spending time with you guys. Um, and that, to me, that's all that matters. Okay. So we got to get some more fuel. I'm going to check this over here. Uh, see if, Oh shit. The juggernaut was over there. Wasn't he? Hold on. It looks like there's a pickup truck over there, actually. We are going to go scout that area. That's either a utility truck. I think it's another Rams, though. Uh, so before I went full-time YouTube, which was J January, guys. Before I I've only been full-time since January. Um, I was in the military for 13 years, and then I, uh, I was a truck driver. I drove tractor trailers. <laughs> Yeah, the, the thing about it is, is there's there's no, I, there's no like textbook that you could follow, guys. Like that's the hardest thing about YouTube is is there is no just like black and white here in writing. This is what you do, and you will be successful. Uh, you could go out there and watch all these videos where these guys tell you, oh, do this and do that, and if and you could try all that stuff, and I promise you, it's not gonna work. It, it just doesn't work. Um, it just it, honestly. I don't think I'm anything special when it comes to content creation on YouTube. My videos aren't great. My my commentary isn't like, you know, there's so many people out there that do it so much better than I do. Um, the only reason why I, if, I, if I'm being honest, the only reason why I think I'm even semi-successful on YouTube is because I'm extremely consistent. Because that is something I can do. I can be consistent. I can be dedicated. I can put in the hours and the hard work. Uh, God damn this bloater. Uh... So, you know, I lack in a lot of departments, you know, I might not be the smoothest talker. I might not be, have the, the best camera or the best quality videos. I might, you know, my commentary might not be the best, but I promise you one thing, I am consistent. And um, I think consistency is key. Like, I, I feel like that is probably one of the most important things when it comes, because if, if, if you start taking breaks and then, you know, you go three weeks without putting out videos, I feel like once you start having big content gaps like that, that's when... Uh, that's when you uh, start having issues. But that's the thing is I, I know I'm not the best at I'm not even the best at playing games. You know what I mean? But I'm going to work hard and that's all I can do. You know, I'm going to bust my ass and give it my all. And what happens happens. You know what I mean?
to go. We love it because oh, you love it. So many laughs and so much entertainment. Thank you. Andrew, that is a huge, huge super chip. I appreciate that so much. What? You did not have to do that, man. That That's way too much. Holy crap. I really appreciate that. Hearts in the chat, guys. That is huge. Exactly. And that's the thing is, I, you know, I... When I when I got into YouTube, I told you guys outright, you know, I'm not I'm not here to to make money. Um, I'm not here to become rich. Um, and I told you guys if I could do this and support my family, really that's all that matters. We're gonna get hit. Nope, we're lucky. Uh, but I, I, when I tell you, I can't even, guys. I can't even tell you the amount of sponsors um, that reach out to me on, on a daily basis. People, what, hey, can you play this game? Uh, you know, we'll pay you X amount. Can you promote this product? We'll pay you X amount. Um, can you say this about this? We'll pay you X amount. And like, if I wanted to, I could, I could be milking the shit out of all that and making all this money. You know what I mean? But that's not me. Um, I don't want to be that person. I I don't want to get so caught up in the shit that I'm I'm sitting here lying to you guys, telling you to go and play play this game. It's the greatest game ever. You will love it. Go spend sixty dollars. I promise you'll enjoy it. Or use this controller. It will make you shoot better. You know, I'm, or, or you know, drink this energy drink. It's gonna give you power and energy all night long. You'll be out of game for fourteen hours. Straight. That's that's bullshit. And I'm not that kind of person. And I'm not gonna I'm not doing it. I don't care. How much, you know, people want to pay me. Now, even Raid Shadow Legends, you know, Raid Shadow Legends, they reached out to me. They wanted me to promote their content. And the only, and like I told you, I will do sponsored stuff. It's not like I'm against doing sponsored content. Um, but I'm only going to sponsor, do sponsored content that I believe in. I'm only going to promote things to you guys that I actually use or like and believe in. Because, yeah, of course, you know, like I love my, my like I use a, a Razer Naga. Mouse, I, obviously I don't have a Razer sponsorship. I love Razer. Um, I've used Razer the whole entire time I've been gaming. Would I, would I do a Razer sponsorship? Of course. I have a Razer keyboard. I have a Razer mouse. I love Razer. I've literally, I use it day in and day out. Um, I've had their headphones. Their, their, their headphones aren't the best, but... Uh, but yeah, I'm just not going to sit there and promote shit I don't believe in. It's just not my style. I, I feel that eventually people can see clear through that shit when people are fake and they're just spitting the whole commercial YouTube spiel. I feel like people can see right through that shit and I because I, I can see through it, you know what I mean? And I just I just don't want to be that guy. Yo, like Manscape, Yo, I would do him. I bought a Manscaped, guys. I have a Manscaped. The thing is legit. 100% Nick free, guys. I promise. Zombies in all directions. Better be careful. But I, I just care about you. I care about you guys more than, than you know, the four or five hundred dollars that this sponsor is going to give me to fucking spit some lies at you. It's not worth it. Uh, your integrity, your honor, your word as a as a, as a person. You only get one chance at that. You know what I mean? And once you mess that up and you lose people's trust, that's it. There's no getting that back. All right, so we're going to clear out this infestation really quick. No, we're not. Oh, it's just one feral. We're good. Uh, and, and Raymond, and again, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. I really appreciate it. No, man, it's all good, dude. It's all good, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's show you guys the difficulty. Yeah, of course. I'm uh, I'm playing on full lethal. We 
We've got a bloater. Yeah, it's, it's I, 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 you know, I don't mind talking about that kind of stuff every now and again, guys. You know what I mean? Because I, I want people to understand, especially people who don't know me. Um, because, for instance, uh, uh, one of the big issues I'm having with my channel right now is ads. Um, it, uh, I was, I had the same misconception when I first became a YouTuber, or before I became a YouTuber, that when people make videos, you know, they 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 put ads on their videos, and. I didn't know how it worked. I thought that when people were recording, they would just say, okay, you know, I want to put an ad here. I want to put an ad here. I want to put an ad here. And, uh, but that's not how it is at all. Actually, you can place your own ads, but when I do live streams, I don't upload this. Like this just automatically goes live after we're done here. So I have no say in what happens with the video. YouTube's in charge at that point. So they, they place all my ads and every, I think it was a year and a half ago, YouTube, uh, change their policy on um, mid-roll ads. So they add their own ads in the middle of videos. And it's so frustrating, guys, because sometimes they'll literally put an ad like every four minutes. And I'm like, dude, you just ruined my video. You literally ruined my video. And I have to go back through and I have to delete ads every day. Like I've got to go in and delete ads, delete ads, delete ads. Then say I'm busy. I got stuff going on in the house. I miss it for a day or two or three. You know, now I'm back. And it's just, it's, it's so much. Um, so the only option that you have as a content creator is you can just turn mid-roll ads off. But now that this is my my job, you know what I mean? And I rely on it as a... As, uh, for you know my livelihood it, it gets a little harder to, to sit there and go and just turn mid-roll ads off because i would suffer big time uh but I, I know it's frustrating for you guys as a uh as viewers i have people in the comments all the time like dude what the fuck is up with the ads and i'm like man i trust me i feel the same way um i try my best to delete them when i remember but i, I you know i have so much going on in life i, I forget all the time I can't, I, I, you know, I, I've, I've thought about it, guys. I'm like, yo, I might just turn mid-roll ads off, but it, maybe when I'm bigger, I might be able to afford to be able to do it. But at the moment, I, I don't think it could, but I just gotta, I just gotta be more proactive on, you know, deleting them. But like I said, I, I just forget guys. I'm, I'm only human. I forget. Uh, no, it's all good, Raymond. Thank you for the super chat, bro. I really appreciate it, man. So there's one zombie left. I think it might be in the back. It wasn't him. Maybe this one. Looks quiet for now, but as long as that play card is nearby, there it is. Won't ever feel safe. Uh, ever considered doing a vid with drunk? Yo, that. <laughs> oh man, I um, I did a little bit of a stream with drunk before. Uh, we met up in Zomboid. Uh, but yeah, we haven't like done like any like real content wait. But again, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you, man. Um. If I ever got super into Zomboid again, I would I would for sure love to do something with Drunk. He's an amazing guy. Right, let's see here. Um, I was thinking about going and clearing out that infestation, but the off-roaders want meds. Let's get that to them or we're going to lose their ally status. Yeah, YouTube Premium is nice. I have YouTube Premium too, so I, I haven't seen an ad on a YouTube video in like like a year and a half. But uh, you know, I can't as a creator, I can't sit here and expect people to you know to always be able to go out and get YouTube Premium. But for those of you guys who do have YouTube Premium, I I actually do get a portion of the. It's like a it's like a royalties like like Game Pass or whatever. Like those of you guys who are like. My viewers that have premium, I actually, uh, 
I actually get a little bit of revenue off that. It's not, it's not anything groundbreaking, but it, it still helps. So uh, I do appreciate you guys that do have YouTube Premium. I never, that's something I never actually thanked you guys for. And I, I definitely should. Uh, because, yeah, those of you guys with YouTube Premium, you help me out. You help me out a lot. I, the Julio, thank you so much for the super chat. A uh, long time lurker, appreciate you, my boy. I appreciate that, man. Seriously, it means a lot to me. Uh, I should actually keep one gas can in here. All right, so we're going to grab meds. Now, how many meds do we got? We got 12 base meds. I could just take it out of my own stock and bring it to them, but... We're starting to get pretty low on mat, uh, like loot. I, th I think there's an ER down here, isn't there? I, I, I can't. I don't have time though. I'm pretty sure these guys are getting ready to get pissed off. While I was gone. Yeah, freshman. I, I know it's, it's something that people don't know, and uh, I feel so bad every time it happens because yeah, there's a big misconception Brian. about ads. Over drummer with the super chat, brother. Thank you so much, man. How you doing today? I appreciate it, man. Andrew Bradley with the membership, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to top off these. I, Yeah, we're just going to bring them a bag of meds out of our own stash for right now. And now I'll just replenish my, my meds later. It's a tough job, but someone around here should lead us. George, get that good sleep, brother. All right, so there we go. Oh, we just keep it on our back. Uh, Keegan, I appreciate that, man. No matter the ads, I really appreciate that, Keegan. Seriously, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Swashing for bloaters. Hey there, take a load off, buddy. Nice to know you got hmm. my back. Do you guys have it for sale? Sometimes you'll give them something and they'll have it for sale. Look at all the repair kits. Oh, it'd be so nice to buy those. All right, let me see here. So, nothing else I want from them. And guys, thank you for almost 400 likes on the stream. I, hey, you guys are awesome. All right, let me see here. Yeah, so we got enough influence. We're at 2,100 right now. Let me see. Maybe I'll recruit from this enclave. Good to see you alive. Business, no. Good to see you. I'm looking to do some trading. Yeah, why not? Uh, blank fifth skill right there. We could potentially use Tim. Good to see you. And another blank fifth skill. Well, you see that fighting right there? That's what you got to watch out. Oh, it's actually behind me. Let me uh, let me show you guys something really quick. All right, so you guys see here how the fighting's capped out. You you can't go higher than three stars. It, it, it's it, you got to make sure that's that's something you're looking out for because it's really easy to miss, especially if you're it's something you're not used to looking for. Uh, you could grab a survivor and not even know that uh, you just gimped yourself on fighting. You'll never be able to specialize. Uh, Jonathan, thank you for the sub, and uh, Sean, thank you for the sub. So Tim is a possibility. But I might. Might call in somebody for the legacy pool. The only problem is we're going to have to farm up a little bit more influence. Dramon. Oh my god. With the five gifted members. I really appreciate that. 
And uh, to those of you guys who eventually receive those gifted members, because it's been lagging behind, it takes forever. Make sure you guys um, allow gifted members. If, if you if if you uh, want to receive one to the channel, you got to make sure you allow it. Uh, but those of you guys who uh, receive those memberships, welcome to the family. And Jeremy, again, thank you so much. It's so kind of you. The only thing I could think about is maybe going and finding the rare skills trader and selling stuff to him. What do you guys think? That will give us that will give us the influence we need. Go clear that infestation. Get a little bit of influence from that. And then we'll go find the rare skills trader and sell him whatever crap we can scrounge up. There it is. Yeah, some of the people are receiving the memberships now. There's a good mission. But the zombie situation is out of control. Can you help us out? We're actually going to do that mission first. Um Okay, so this is the clinic they want us to get, which is cool because that will actually make taking this play cart so much easy because uh, I could just bounce back and forth. So, yeah, we'll actually go clear that out. All right, we're going to uh, we'll grab a little bit of extra fire. That area of the map is a little, a little dangerous. Uh, we could use some more... Bolts to mm. I've been kind of whipping these bolts around all willy nilly and now I'm uh, starting to run out and I don't want to spend any more materials right now. Hey bro, how are you liking the new SOD2 update? Sorry, I've been away lately. I've been busy at work. I also have my bachelor party this weekend. You coming? <laughs> Lol. Mighty. Hey, first of all, congratulations on the upcoming wedding. That's absolutely awesome to hear. Um, and yeah, I've been enjoying the update. I haven't had any issues. I've heard some horror stories of people uh, getting some pretty nasty bugs with the update. But me personally, I've, it's been smooth sailing, as you guys can see. Uh, but hey, man, it's all good. I appreciate you finding a little bit of time to pop in. Sounds like life's getting nice and busy for you, man. And again, congrats. I do appreciate it. Really? No, not with the Halloween decor. It's August. Listen, guys, my wife is one of them people that the day after Christmas is trying to pull down the tree. Can you take the tree down and bring it upstairs? And it's just like, but then we'll have freaking Halloween decorations out, you know, six months before Halloween and then all the way up until Christmas. That's a big horde. That's a wrap. Oh. You're a big help to this community. Thanks for that. We just got a free clear. So we're going to let this horde pass. I feel like I have something in my teeth. It's so annoying. Um, so the way you do the grab and throw, I actually have a video. It's linked in the description. Um, I forget. I don't know what the grab button is on um, the Xbox. I think it's RB. But all you have to do is you got to make sure you're behind the zombie. Hit the, the grab button, but you have to hold it. You can't let it go. You got to you hold it, and then uh, I'll show you with this zombie here. Yeah, 
Yeah, when you grab it, you hold it, and you can literally just sit here and hold the zombie until you run out of stamina. There's, and then the throw button, um, the throw button I know on consoles A, and on on PC it's spacebar. Uh, over trouble with the super chat. You should run over the hordes. I'm sure it'll be fine. No, man. It'll all be okay. Okay, we got to get back home. Overdrama, thank you so much. X by default on PC? Okay, I, I changed my keybind like years ago, so. You should run over the hordes. I'm sure it'll be fine open mouth smile. Loaders. So how much influence are we sitting at now? I just need... Yeah, so we got enough. We got enough. We're going to recruit somebody from the Legacy Pool right now. We're going to move into that base. I'm excited, guys. I've never lived in this base before. I know it's going to be a huge downgrade from the starter base because the starter base is just so good. You get a kitchen. You get everything. So uh, before we do head over there, I'm going to make sure I craft up a couple energy drinks. And we might have some bed issues when we first get over there, but we'll see. Um, never lived in this mo motel before. is getting beat. I might actually freaking repair it. Just, well, we don't have the smoke yet. We should be okay. A lot of body damage. That's about it. Okay, so we got the influence we need. Uh, let's go ahead and recruit this person from the legacy pool. Don't know who I, no, so whoever I recruit, I want to make sure they don't have a whole lot of gear on them. So I'll just kind of make the playthrough like meh. Uh, but I do have a guy who does have some red talent, um, Facilities. Might, might, might grab him. Okay, so here we go. Twelve hundred influence. Hello? Anyone out there want to say hi? Sure, we can help with that. So, so the reason why I slow down after passing a bloater is because zombies have a spawn in range. Uh, I think it's about one hundred and fifty meters. So what happens is if if I drive past the bloater and you aggro him and you hear him start running after you, the thing is is if you're driving too fast. And you, before he falls, if you get out of that spawning range, the bloater will actually just disappear before actually blowing up. So then you'll come back down that road and the bloater's back. And you're like, wait, didn't you blow up? But no, what happened was is you just drove too fast, got out of the spawning range of the zombie, and it, and it didn't actually blow up. So I slow down. I wait for the bloater to pop. Boom. I know he's gone. Then I keep driving. Hey, uh, Mr. QB, I'm... I'm I'm really, really glad I was able to help you out, man. Got it. We'll cancel that request for you. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Hello? Anyone out there want to say hi? Request received. We'll ask around for any local volunteers. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. Um, So we already have a hygiene. It's pretty good. Carlos can take a punch. Um, he's got some too much resources on him. Too much. <laughs> Harry here has got an an infinite rage on him, and he's a blood plague survivor.
Okay, so this guy here, Hoss, he's a fisher. No, I'm not going to bring him in. She's not bad. Matsuo's not bad. Um, she doesn't have too much on her. Does have uh, the crossbow. Got a bag of food on her. Hmm. Backpacking skill is really good. Backpacking is really good. Uh, it's huge stamina uh, increase. So Matsuo might might be it. Uh, she's a red talon. Oh, Nia, we actually just took out of my main community. Uh, but we already have a cook, so I, I don't need her. Too much stuff. Too much stuff. He's, I don't even know why I have him in my legacy pool. Uh, Todd here. We already have a chemist in this community. Hygiene we don't need. And Vinny. She is really good too. Uh, she has too many guns. So I think I'm going to go ahead and grab Matsuo. Uh, her, her fifth skill will help us out a bit. Uh, give us some extra materials. Yeah, so let's go ahead and grab Matsuo. on the team. Thank you. Now, you be sure to let me know how I can be helpful, all right? Okay. Uh put on base defense. Right off the bat, let's get Matsuo in the game. She is a she's a beast. She's a beast. So we're gonna drop this food. Now because we are running five survivors, you guys can see our, our food is taking a pretty big hit. Um, so once I move into that new base, I might actually kick out, or I might, uh, go on a, a, a heart killing spree with Yoon here, um, because I just can't afford to feed five people right now. It, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot for me to try to balance right now. Uh, so I might actually, uh, go on a heart killing spree with her, but let's go get our base. Oh, man, do you see, when you have the assault skill, look at how many crossbow bolts she can hold in her inventory. That's crazy. 60 bolts in one inventory slot. That That's absolutely insane. And 60 rounds of 9mm, too. Get all this stuff repaired. Grab the, I don't, I don't need the super good painkillers. We'll just grab those for right now. All right, let's do this. Ricky Hawkins. So, how many of you guys in chat have been at this base before? The uh, the motel, the cabin park motel. How many of you guys have lived here and and and, and speak, whether it's good or not? Thing is, is yeah, I've looted pretty much everything in this area. That's fine. I was like, I want to make sure I, I hit most of the good spots before we leave. But yeah, we're good. Yeah, Drucker County. Oh, Sirius says it's main base. Yeah, of all the the time I've I've, I've literally never uh, played here or played at this base, so that was one of the reasons. I always go for Wally's because it's a four man base, and it's up in the town, so you get some really good loot locations. It's uh, I really, really, really enjoy that that base, Wally's. 
comes with a built-in kitchen. Um, all around, it's just a really good spot. So, let me uh, let me buy some stuff from these. I can't afford. So I almost went and spent my influence. I've never been to Mexico before, no. Oh, we want to go. We want to go on vacation, check it out at some point. But for a family my size to do like real vacation trap, let's like, like it, it's very, very expensive. And uh, we're just not at that type of point in our life where we can really do stuff like that. Maybe one day. I got three kids. Yeah, <laughs> three kids. There's five of us all together, so it costs like, you know, $6,000 to fly anywhere. And that's, that's just the plane tickets, not even counting the hotels and anything else. It's 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 expensive when you got a family big like mine. Stella, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Oh, I lost my door. I didn't even realize that. It's way further south than I than I thought. How the hell do you get up there? Here we go. Towards vacation. Oh, mighty! Thank you so. You did not have to do that, man. That is extremely kind of you. Holy crap! What the huge super chat? Seriously, thank you so much. Hey, you better save that for the bachelor's party, man. Again, thank you, Muddy. I appreciate it, man. Okay. Ah, oh, Stella, it's all good. Hold on, is she? Yeah, she is max prowess, so we can we can be a little more aggressive uh, with our melee combat because I can grab zombies from the front like this, just execute them. She's a melee monster, that uh, Matsuo. She survived one of my other lethal zone playthroughs. Might be a good place to set up a base. Oh uh, yes, your weapons can break, your guns can break, your melee weapons can break. You gotta maintain them um, by using parts and stuff. Wow, 13 areas to explore in this place? It's huge. You know, this just kind of reminds me of this, the, the camp there in uh, Meager Valley, the uh, little summer camp. Got the little the cabins and shit. Maybe we won't need beds here. Yeah, this place actually might come with some quite a few beds. Fox Drake, how you doing? Okay, we should be good.
And Camilla, I appreciate that. Locked. David, I'll thank you for the sub. It'd be a shame if this place doesn't have a ton of beds. Uh, the zombies are kind of... Yeah, it's not like Zomboid where you can, like, eventually kill all the zombies. The zo now, you can uh, kill so many zombies that you really do a bunch of damage to the spawns. Like, I don't know if you can see how the map is, like, a real dark red here. Well, you can, like, get it to be, like, light like this. Um, and, and the areas that are like this have a, a lower spawn rate. Oh, they need food, but so do we. Easy. There we go. No creepers here. So the base is now ready to be claimed. All right, let's see what the bed situation is. So it comes with sheltered beds and built-in beds. So it comes with exactly the amount of beds we need. Okay, let's see here. So where it has a country kitchen, which is awesome. Okay, let's get that fixed up. That provides three more beds. So once that's done, we'll be good. Get this trash cleared. And then I'll get this cleared also. And it has water, guys. Wow. This spot's not that bad. Uh, Two large slots... It, what, four small slots? No way, dude. I've been saving for the bachelor party with a little left over to make sure you and the fam are taken care of winking face. Mighty, I really... Dude, that is extremely kind of you, man. Seriously, thank you so much. Holy crap, dude. Hats off to you, man. I really hope... You know, I wish you the best night at your bachelor party. Um, I hope you enjoy the... I hope the wedding is amazing. Okay, so this threat, this seed should be pretty small. But holy crap, man, I really appreciate that. All right, you guys ready for the siege? We'll grab a little bit of fire. Yeah, I don't, I don't see this. This seems like a pretty good base, in my opinion, guys. I missed a member? I don't see any members. Loader alert. Okay. So my my community should be able to keep up with most of the zombies. I just want to make sure we get that bloater down. Yep. Looks like we're not done yet. Keep it up, guys. We can do this. Space is nice. Got a lot of space. Space for your people to move around during sieges. Not bad. I think we can all breathe now. Not bad at all. Could also go hit this gas station too. 
because uh, we still need some fuel. But uh, I I want to I want to get rid of her. Uh, now that we're in this base, we gotta we gotta worry about our food. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Yoon. I know this is messed up, guys, but hey, uh, it's good practice too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give her a heavy weapon here. I I don't want to I don't want to invest too much into her as a survivor. Okay, we'll get the infirmary done. Fine. Six is fine. I mean, um, not happy than normal. But we're gonna send her out to uh, clear plague heart, clear plague hearts, um, because I want to get rid of her anyways. So, you know, it's a little a little messed up, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, let me see. Where's that other shotgun? There it is. Good to see you. Uh. The thing is, if she's gonna die, I don't want her to lose any of our good equipment. It might be time to reassess our tactics. But I will give her stamina because I want to complete the play card. Like I want to make sure we get it done. Uh, so we, we're not gonna hold off on like giving her healing items and shit like that. But uh, another successful project under our belt. Want to make sure she can defend herself. We'll give her the shotgun. The way she loses it, it's really not that big of a deal. I'll give this shotgun to you. She she didn't do anything, you know, to upset me, guys. But uh, we just can't afford to feed all these people, and she's not really contributing to the group. Uh, with her fifth skill being music. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's that's why I'm like, uh, you know, I'm gonna get rid of her. I'm gonna get rid of her. Grab some shoddy shells. Zach, how you doing? I can't outrun that barrel. Give her uh, forty shells is quite a, quite, a, quite a bit. Give her uh, twenty five shots. If she somehow survives the first couple play cards, I'll, I'll send her back over to get more shells. But uh, we're pretty much going to play with her until she dies. Okay, so I know there's a play card in this area somewhere. But where is it? Gotta be up here somewhere. And we're sending her out on foot. Uh, that way I don't have to go and recollect my car. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Yukon's like it, you should shoot one of those screamers with the with a rifle. So the fact, like, I, uh, like be honest. So the fact that I have you know one out of two screamers left to kill with a rifle does that and and it's just sitting there. Does that trigger anybody's OCD? It's like, dude, just fucking shoot the screamer, man. Complete the bounty. <laughs> okay. All right, babe. Are you there? I must be somewhere else. Could hit here to find out where the heart is. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I was going to swap out the backpack, you know, because she's got an eight slot. I mean, if I have to, I, if I don't have to go out of my way to reclaim the gear, I'll come back down and reclaim the gear, depending on how early she dies. Um, I definitely would come back and, you know, get the backpack and the gear. Well, the, the, the problem is those bounties there aren't for this community, even though I can even do them with this community. Uh, that's for my main community to collect. Well, Stella, hey, I appreciate you for pointing that out, Don, uh, Donald. I do appreciate it. But Stella, thank you so much for the membership. I do appreciate it, and welcome to the family. Okay, I think it's, yep, play cards right in this building, actually. Never mind, we don't even have to scout. I will scout anyways. Um, just to see if there's any vehicles in the area. But yeah, guys, this is uh, this is a good idea. I mean, if you guys have survivors that you don't want and you're gonna exile, I, I, after this you'll be like, yo, that, that that's a good plan. Maybe I'll try that. Ryan with the 16 months, thank you so much. Sender of death makes me question my membership. <laughs> when you run out of Doritos, Ryan, it's only special cases. It's only special cases where they get this treatment. Uh, it, it, I would save her. Like, I wouldn't kill her off if I had, if I could get plague cures. Because the challenge is making it so I can't cure blood plague. She's gonna die. Watch like, for that juggernaut. she's gonna get blood plague and there's nothing I can do to cure it. That sweet ride. Oh. Another road racer right up there, too. That's not even that far. Okay, so we know what hearts we're gonna go after. We'll just hit... I'll start here. Clear this one. Run up here. And we'll just... I think I might be able to get, like, one. Maybe two. Hey, touch game and thank you for the sub. Survivors, don't let yourself be convinced by conspiracy theories. Neither the army nor the government had anything to do with the outbreak. I just have to get this done. Drake and Gort donated ten dollars. Treats for the doggos. No, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I think it's almost down. That really hurt it.
Seriously? Shit. Okay, we can't go that way. And there's a fucking bloater. So it's not as clean as I thought. Uh, so we'll hit this one first. You know, the thing is, is if, uh, we're going to have to do a re, a little re-up of our, uh, supplies. So depending, if I can get this clear, I might actually do another outpost here. Can't do it. If she can survive. Do I think play cards need help meters? Um, I mean, immersion wise, I would say no. Uh, but once you understand the phases, and uh, you know, you don't even really need health meters. But for some people, you know, uh, that they, they would like to see their their damage. I I don't like health meters in games. That's actually one of the reasons why I didn't like Dying Light Two when it first uh, was announced. Because I seen the health meters and I was like, man, that's really weird. Like, I don't want to. It makes it feel like, you know, all like, oh yeah, all you have to do is get the zombies health down to here and they're dead. It's like. I don't, I don't want that, you know what I mean? Like, even though most things do have health meters, the fact that I can't see it just makes it feel so much better. Uh, it, it, it may, I don't know, for me, it kind of, uh, health meters kind of break immersion a little bit. But again, I want to thank you all, uh, you know, Mighty, dude, again, with the bachelor party, hey, in the wedding, I, I wish you the best, brother, and I appreciate the love. Uh, but yeah, you know, for for those people that do want that option, yeah, for sure. If, if it's something you can turn on and off, I don't see why they, you know, I don't, I don't have a problem with it. See if we can get this place cleared out. Uh, Tyler asked if I'll do another. So, what do you mean by multiplayer stream, Tyler? Uh, like, 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 like a daybreak? Uh, like I said I've gotten so I've gotten to the point on YouTube where I'm, I'm my channel is so big when it comes to like multiplayer things, it's really hard to keep up with. Um, and because I can't service a good amount of people, I generally just avoid it. Well, that just cut her lifespan down quite a bit. I'm starting to feel terrible. Better be careful. Just a, I fire Zerg that one just so we can get an outpost. Love you too, bud. 
I take out the nearest plague heart, this should clear up. I'm still gonna have to kill another one, ain't I? Only problem is I only have one stim or one stamina item. That's not gonna be enough. I need at least two to do this comfortably. This place seems clear for now, but I know that won't last. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? We might be able to check this barbecue place, see if we can get some something out of there, but... Oh, you know what? Let's go loot the damn plague art. What the hell am I talking about? That's what I should have fucking did. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We, we got out of there quick. I should have looted the plague art. There's nothing here that we need. That's a plague bloater. Uh, yeah, I have probably looted the last one, but I guess I could save the gear for my actual community instead of wasting it on her. But yeah, we could have. Uh, Doggo, hey, I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Jabs with the seven months. I uh, hope everything's good. Hope you're having a great night. Just got out of a job. Hey, so hanging out. Well, welcome. I hope you're having a good... I hope work went well. There we go. We got some stamina items, so we should be okay there. Um, yeah, I'll leave all this stuff in here for my community to come mop up. But if she could somehow survive one more, I might be able to extend her life a little bit. So, what I mean by I can extend her life, guys. I could walk her up here, grab this road racer, right? Because we need this car anyways. Um, I could bring that car back to base, and then when I get to base, I can use... Uh, I can use, whatchamacallit, um, the, the, the plague reduction infection therapy. And that will pretty much give her a fresh restart. And then we can come back up here and clear some more hearts. And if I do do that, that will give me my ve I'll have my second vehicle back at home, which is always a positive. Maybe that's what I'll do. Just because I want to get the car home. But Yoon's doing pretty good, guys. She's clinging on to life, right? Do a pop runner into a plug. I mean, she's doing a good job, you know? There it is. There's my- Oh, shit. Are you fucking kidding me, car? You and Stars are not aligning for you right now. You had a chance at survival.
I could break this rucksack open, but I need the fuel. Sometimes get gas out of these outposts here. Or out of these buildings. Hey, Raymond, thank you so much for the super chat, man. Get that good sleep, all right? There it is. Wow. The universe just doesn't want Yoon to die. What's going on here, guys? And thank you, everybody, for 500 likes on the stream. I do appreciate it. Hype OG, how you doing today? I mean, how many of you guys in chat are, are cheering you and on right now? You guys are making me feel like I'm evil. She's doing her part, you know what I mean? She's one of those, like, um, you know, I'm, she's ready to risk her life to make the world a better place. I'm just honoring Yoon's wishes, guys. But I've given her a couple she's she's killed two play cards already and she's still alive, you know? Alright, Yoon. Here you go. Boom. See, you guys can't say I never did anything for her. I even gave her some of our stamina items. Look at that. Give her some more health. And... Damn, she blew through... Oh, I didn't give her a full stack. You know what? She deserves a full stack of ammo. There it is. And, you know, so there it is, guys. I invested a little bit into Yoon's life, all right? Or her death. I've invested, you know, into her death. So if and when she dies... Just know that we we uh we invested in her. Scream here, shoot it. Oh, look at that. Um, we were some marathon. Guys, Yoon's pu pulling out all the stops right now, trying to just make herself like, look, I'm useful. Look, I'm cool. <laughs> That's the vibes I'm getting right now from Yoon. Yoon's pulling it all out right now, guys. 
Yeah, I'll be running a leader at some point. Um, I generally don't run a leader until I need one. I mean, she's already killed two plague hearts. I have to rest. I should be careful of plague zombies around here. We just ran out of time to help those folks. We did. I mean, we got our own issues, man. Fucking zombie really just wants to die, man. Like, I, ch I let you go so many times and you just wouldn't stop chasing me. Thomas Angelo, how you doing today? Issues. She's gonna be getting tired here soon. So I'm hoping I can get these hearts cleared enough to get an outpost. So then at least I can give her coffee. No, I still got my truck, Owl. Yeah, we just didn't bring it with us. Uh, cause she's, uh... She's fodder. Fire in the hole!
Coburg. Don't Coburg. is just awful. Playing this. Just downloaded the code received from the bleed to lead Undead Labs drive. Thanks, Brian. Keep up the good work, brother. Hey, Mike, what this? I really appreciate the super chat, man. That is huge. Holy crap. Thank you so much. And I, I'm excited. I hope you really enjoyed the game. It's amazing. It really is. All right, so I could probably do an outpost right here. How much I, I got enough influence? We're super low on food. So this will kind of help out because we need the food anyways. I'm starting to feel terrible. Better be careful. Hello. Freaking triple feral pack though messed that up a little bit. Good 
Okay, so we could probably get at maybe one more out of her before she's done. Will I let her live, live if I have more food? No, because as you can say, I see, I just got another food outpost and we're still yellow in food. Um, so that that's the main issue. I just I, I can't afford to keep her, guys. It just is what it is. Uh, especially because I need more stims and stuff. Now there is a play cart next door. I'm gonna go next door and loot that out. I don't think I've seen a better potential outpost than that one. I could use rationing, but why when I could just get rid of her? Seems to be clear. You know what I mean? We could just we could just get rid of her and be done with it. That's pretty heavy. I'll leave that ruck there for right now. And and it's like I could get one more play card out of her, you know, if I push her to the limits. We could get one more, guys. One more play card. See, if you guys want to succeed, you got to be able to make the tough choices. You know what I mean? Like, like, look at this. We could get rid of this play cart, maybe. Now the thing is, if I, if I, if I could get her back home, if I get her back home and heal her up, I could probably even get like, I could probably get like two more play cards, two or three more play cards with her. If if I really wanted to like min max, I could come take this car here, fuel it up, drive it home, heal her up, and then I could even drive the car back out. What color is my Bugatti? <laughs> I got a Chevy and a Dodge. Or we could just throw her at this play cart and call it good. Ah, uh, Paul, I can afford the morale right now. That that's the only reason why I'm I'm willing to kill her off, and it's only thirty minutes. I I we're already stable. Um, so I, I could have I could afford the morale hit But we do want to get these upgrading But we need food big time guys like big time need food I think I might uh I Think I might go down and get that car and give oh you tired too guys Well, I mean, I could, I could exile her, but in my head, I'm like, why exile her? Why exile her when I can, I can get another play card out of her? You know what I mean? That that's just how I look at it. You know what I mean? So we are going to have her YOLO down, grab that other car. If she survives the car grabbing and gets it back to base, we'll see. I, uh, she's a, she, she has a pointless fifth skill that I don't need. Um, and on top of the pointless fifth skill that I don't need, uh, I, I just don't need five survivors right now. Uh, they're eating too much food. So to balance out my community, I want to be down to four. And she's on the chopping block. She has... I don't know if she's going to make it down to the car, though.
So it was it was exiler or uh, you know user to to take advantage of clearing some play cards and look at it, you know what I mean? Like, that's like three or four more play cards that I got cleared that I would not have been able to do if I had a survivor I cared about. Juggernaut. I wouldn't want her in my legacy pool either. She's she has music as a fifth skill. If I take out the nearest plague heart, this should clear up. She's completed every mission, guys. She's gone above and beyond. You know, her original goal was to kill a play cart. How many have we done with her? Three? Four? Shit. Damn it. Got stuck on this side of the barrier. Okay, so I got to get out of the car there because they'll blow the they'll blow it up. I'm about to drop. It's not finished off yet. We're at a crossroads now, guys, because Yoon is tired. Which means I can't get my money's worth out of her right now if I send her back out. So do I exile her now? Give her a coffee and send her out anyways? Or hold on to her until she, uh... Until she's no longer tired.
So if I heal her up and let her rest, I could probably get an, I could probably get another couple play cards out of her. I mean, because the thing is, I could heal her, right? I could let her sleep. I mean, it's not going to help her food situation, but I could heal her, let her sleep, and then send her back out once she's rested. Probably get, you know, a couple, a handful more play cards. And while we're out, maybe we could do some looting. But our food situation, like I said, is just pretty dire right now, guys. Like, we're down to eight food. And... The map is already starting to get a little scarce when it comes to food. I mean, I got a couple of locations. We could probably hit one, maybe two. Might be able to get two rucks out of there. There's none over here. Uh, there's SMB up here. I might be able to get like one or two more rucks up there. Maybe. Uh, we also could come talk to these guys. These were the guys that had all that food and shit, right? Maybe see if they have more to trade. All right, you, you've, you've earned yourself one more night. We'll heal her up. I'll figure out the food. You don't talk like that. Try to fucking make me feel bad. Okay, so wh where are we going to go for food? Uh, like I said, we'll head. It's an ammo ruck. Meds. Fuel. Materials. We can come up here, though. We'll hit the peddlers and... Oh, wait. No, there's three. I got an SMB Express here. We got the Jolly. Uh, the Chinese. Oh, we might be able to get like four rucks up here, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, we might be able to get like four rucks. The only thing is I might... I, I kind of want to repair my truck. It's a little rough. It's quite rough. And I don't want to risk blowing it up. Oh yeah, screw it. We'll, we'll repair it. As much as I don't want to do this. I mean, I'm getting rid of her, period. She's she's a waste of uh, of a survivor in my community. Like, there's no reason for me to keep her. Because um, she her fit skill does me no favors. It, it, it's not a fit skill I will ever use or need. Um, she's just music, guys. Like... I get a little bit of influence a day, knowledge of arts, hundred percent standing. Like none of that stuff matters. Plus two morale. Like I, I, I don't really care. Um, so for me, I, I don't need her. So I, I'm gonna get rid of her anyways. What is her hero bonus? And her hero bonus. Yeah, I get one labor. Like okay, like she's she's all right, but she's nothing, nothing really worth uh, feeding. Uh, we, yeah, we can afford the gas. Yeah, her sprinting's good, but that's just because I made her marathon. Um, she doesn't even, And she's vain, too, guys. She has a negative trait. <laughs> you know what I mean? So she has a uh, morale... Like, like, she's all around just no good. You know what I mean? Negative trait. Um, you know, starts fights with people. And she's music. Alright, here we go. 
Yeah, she's she's bad all around. I gotta get rid of her. So, the, but the, my thing is, I don't like exiling people because it's a waste. Like, I look at the survivor themselves. Like, the the physical body of the survivor is is a tool that you can use. It's a resource. You know what I mean? So it's like, why not get everything I can? Like if I exile her, she's just gone. You know what I mean? I'm not going to benefit at all. So it's like, why just exile her when I can take her and at least use her until she dies? You know what I mean? And then I'll get everything I possibly can out of her compared to exiling her. Cause I, I wouldn't want to take my other survivors and just throw them at play cards like that because I want them to live. I don't want them to die. So for me, she's, you know, that that that's how I take advantage of survivors and make the most out of them. You gotta milk them, guys. Triple Feral. Yeah, so that sucks. That Triple Feral spawning for real, for real. Like, yeah, I'll take a little bit of a morale hit if she dies. Um, it's like 30, 45 minutes. My people will be a little upset, but they'll get the hell over it. They'll be all right. But also learning how to push your survivors to their absolute limit. Because uh, that's what you know I was doing there. I was literally just kind of pushing her to, to the limits. And she's not even a maxed out survivor. And, you know, every survivor is good in this game. Even if they're brand new. Uh, but, yeah, what you want to do is learn, learn how to do that. Learn how to push your survivors to the limit. Because uh, then, then you can really make the most out of them all. Okay, this is going to suck. And that way you know when when you actually because you'll know what that uncomfortable feeling is okay like yeah i'm pushing a little too hard but until you until you actually push survivors to their limit you don't really know what you can get away with One of these zombies are screaming, man. Listen, assholes. I'm here for food. Let's see. I, I mean, we could talk to them. Hey, I suppose it could be worse. Wait, she has max tactics. Yeah, I could fast search for her. I don't think there it is. To find anything else here. What do you guys want? Hmm. We'll just okay. ignore them. Have a good day, then. Yeah, if you ignore, if you if you deny them, they'll uh they'll become hostile. Good yeah. crap, dude. Yeah, that was a big big bite there from that zombie. Fabricio, how you doing today? My name is Lily Ritter, and I'm with a group called The Network. We know you're hungry. We 
know you're scared. We are too. But we can't rely on other people to save us. We have to save ourselves. And we do that by working together with our neighbors. She sounds very hopeful. I like that. Well, that's the last of that. So we're gonna get two bags. I'm gonna go drop the stuff in my locker. Actually, uh, we'll loot up this play cart too. Seems empty here. That's a shame. Park in this other parking lot, hit these last two places. That's two more bags of food. This place seems clear for now, but I know that won't last. <clears throat> Should be able to hit this tavern now. Hey folks, we sure would appreciate some help over here. A lot of ethanol in there. No food watch. I've searched through everything here. Of course. Of course. June's still alive for now. Chat guilted me into letting her live another few minutes. I think I'll take that. I don't know if they did her a favor or not, because now I just now I'm just gonna send her back into the fire all fresh and new. I'm done searching here. Hey, Justin, thank you for the sub. I think that's all the food joints around here. It's 
Sorry, can't carry that. All right. We should be good here. I got, what, three bags, I think? <sighs> Bad Wolf, how are you doing tonight? I'm exhausted. I need to rest. Yeah, we got three bags of food. Okay, so that's food, rucksack, that heart right there, and that one's meds. I'm trying to see if there's any other food locations down here, which I don't think there are. So, food is going to become a little scarce here shortly. Uh, it is what it is. You could come hit this tartan mart here. Yeah, we'll go. Oh, we'll come. We'll go hit that tartan mart there. No, I know. I, I see. I know, but I didn't say hi. So I wanted. I wanted to say hi. And I, I seen you earlier when you were savagely telling me that you were agreeing with me on killing her off. Mashes, how you doing? Yun's gonna beat the game. <laughs> oh, that's all good, Bad Wolf. It's all good. I should be careful of plague zombies around here. Over, Jummer. I appreciate the super chat, though, man. So much love for Yoon in the chat. She's so bad, guys. She's literally so bad. Like, under these circumstances, in a lethal zone playthrough, none of you guys would keep Yoon. Negative trait music eating my food up. Um, so my friend in the military, he taught me, like, just how the pieces move. Like, he didn't teach me how to play chess. Like, oh, you know, like, these openings. You know, he was like, oh, you know, a pawn can move forward. A bishop can move this way. A knight can move this way. Um, and that was about all I knew in chess. That's a bummer. Oh, I guess it's better than nothing. Go 
I'll take both food and meds. If I can get food too, that'd be awesome, please. For some reason, I feel like I'm... Damn it, man. Being so stingy on food. Here we go. Abandoned store. Just because... I'm telling you, if you guys... I've spent so long, like, min-maxing. You know what I mean? Like... I just know a bad survivor, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm not, not gonna waste my time keeping that survivor. Just, there's no point, you know what I mean? Um, now, could I beat the game with her? Yeah, of course, you know? Like, I could keep her, and... I probably don't even need to min-max this community if I don't want to, you know? I was just... I was trying to just make it, you know, semi-functional. But, I mean, I could beat the... Probably just beat the game with any survivors, really. It doesn't really matter. Just stopped and say hello and pick up my four years chip for sobriety. Hey, Sean, congratulations on that, brother. Congratulations, man. That's huge. But thank you again for the super chat, man. I really appreciate that. Skip me on food in this place too, watch. Moltam! What's up? How you doing? Um... Damn. I've searched through everything here. Okay, so it is getting a little tight, guys. Uh, our food situation is getting a little tight. I've hit all the major food spots. I mean, once we get enough influence, I could upgrade my outposts and uh, it not really be much of a big deal. Or we can enact rationing. Yeah, so that's what I'm, I'm going to enact rationing for the time being. Uh, just to cut our food down and then I'm going to deliver these food rucks and we should be all right. And because we have the nutritionist, we won't take a big stamina penalty. For rationing. Super dangerous, man. <laughs> Damn bloaters. Hey, Anders, get that good sleep, all right? Paul, with the five gifted members, brother, thank you so much. Holy shit, man. I really appreciate that. There's a good chance those ferals are going to follow me up here. Hey, 
And everybody who receives a membership, welcome to the family. Paul, that is huge, man. I appreciate that. Okay, now the ferals are definitely coming. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure when we'll be starting Syndicate. Uh, within the next few weeks, uh, we got some games that are being, getting cleaned up and shit. So, yeah, we'll definitely be jumping in and checking it out. I know it's been a little bit. We we, we stepped back so we could, because uh, we've been playing Assassin's Creed, I think, for like the past six months straight. Like, we've, been, we've had an Assassin's Creed game going on, on the channel. Uh, so we just kind of put it on pause, uh, then, you know, with Spider-Man, Saints Row, things like that coming up. We wanted to make sure we had some room to test out some new stuff just to see, you know, what other stuff that people on the channel wanted to see. <laughs> uh, Paul with the huge super chat, brother. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Says, uh, so got my second paycheck for three years today. Uh, we're going to stay in this job this time. Hey, man, that's good to hear. I'm glad it's working out for you, brother. I really am. All right, let's see here. So. So got my second paycheck for three years today, but going to stay in this job this time, lol. There's you and guys. There's you and uh, Matsio, we'll put her in the other bed. Love the candle light. Okay, so uh, let me store the food up now that the ferals are gone. Let's get the food stored. It's been a while since we talked. You still working on that thing? Uh, if you stay put, I'll see you soon. We could do that. That Thanks. the enclave's been cool with us this whole time. All right, let's get the food in here. Uh, and they had a bunch of stuff for sale. That feral's head looks bulletproof. Okay, so we're sitting at nineteen. Our resources are starting to look a little bit better. Definitely use more gas, though. That's the only issue. All right, so I'm going to take the car. It's a little better on fuel. Scanning for bloaters. If 
I take out the nearest plague heart, this might clear up. And guys, thank you for over 600 likes on the stream. I do appreciate it. Sam, I am 888 donated $25. We should bring back jump scares. <laughs> so, so, the issue we were having with the jump scares, Sam, was... Uh, it's fun while you're on stream, you know what I mean? But then we got people who, you know, are just watching the game afterwards. And the thing is, is it can get excessive. You know, people could use it over and over and over and over again. It's like once or twice, three times here and there. It's it's, it's funny, you know what I mean? But, like, when you're sitting there and you're trying to get immersed into a series or something like that, and, like, you're just there to chill and watch a survival game, and say you're somebody who doesn't like jump scares, which there's a lot of people who just don't enjoy being scared like that the problem is is it was putting off a lot of people for my content because they're like dude I'm, I'm here to watch you play you know state of decay i'm cool i'm sitting back watching it like it's almost like a movie or something and then boom a jump scare would happen they'd be like what the fuck you know and and people were they didn't like it you know what i mean and i so i had to take into consideration you know the the amount of viewers that if it was just like one or two people that were but it was always always like you know like i had every video almost i had somebody saying something about it so um that that's why we had ended up having to cut it out and only make it for like horror games man, over uh, pretty sure that car i don't know about that man immune to bloater gas Well, thank you for the super chat. And Sam, thank you, thank you again. I really do appreciate the donation. Hopefully they want to go somewhere that's already relatively safe. Is that a screamer? Yeah, three of them. Uh. Hi there. Okay. That's good to hear. Be careful, hun. We don't want Nice, they got more food. Man, what's up with this enclave? They got a lot of food. Okay, that those screamers might come all the way over here, so I gotta be careful. Yeah, they're definitely gonna come all the way over. Uh, but they gotta clear the barrier. So I think we're good. I'm gonna buy uh, one more thing of food from them, and I'll go clear out this base. Shall we do some business? Sure, sounds good. So, I'm not in a super big rush to get rid of Yoon anymore. Even though I don't need her. Guys, I really don't need her. I'm going to let her stick around for a minute. Okay, so they want to come up to the cul-de-sac here. Too easy. Make sure it's not the mystery meat enclave, right? There we go. All right, so we got them moved there. They should be allies now. And what are they giving us? Caravan. So we get fuel efficiency bonus. That that's that's a pretty good bonus right there. Uh, I didn't even check. What were they giving us? They're giving us health and fighting XP. They're not giving. Oh, uh, right now we do have medical advice over the radio from them. And that's all we got so far. So 
We got a couple more bags of food. We'll clear out this infestation on the way back home. Even though I don't have any fire. I could swing by my outpost real quick and actually... Oh, we... What? Why do I only have one food outpost, didn't I? Did my outpost reset when I moved bases? I never dismissed that outpost. I wonder if that's a bug. Maybe that's why I was having so many issues with food. I, w I was wondering why when I got that other food outpost, all of a sudden I, I was still in the yellow. Still a few more of them. Give Yun a rusty screwdriver and a map to Providence. She'd be much happier singing in the woods. <laughs> Paul, brother, with the super chat, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Paul, I thought you would be on team. Uh, so you're on team Yun too? Uh, she probably would be happier out there than living with me. Now that I see the place, I think we I'm finally ready to get back on my feet. Sorry to be a burden. Uh, there's Yoon, guys. She's back. She's back and ready to go. Um, Yeah, so that that's one of the reasons why my food looked so bad was because, uh, yeah, I didn't have that activated. But we're barely losing anything right now, but that's what rationing activated. Yeah, for some reason, it must be a bug or something. When you move bases, your outposts get reset. That's kind of... that They need to fix that. That could be really bad, especially if you have a bunch of really highly upgraded and well-placed outposts. If you move, and yeah, that would be super frustrating. But yeah, we'll clear this out. I'm going to grab some fire. Oh, yeah, they want us to find that portable generator, don't they? Hey, neighbors. I'm wondering if we could borrow some labor for a bit. Thanks, you rock. Actually, we'll switch this out for the trench tool, one of my favorite melee weapons in the game. It's so good. And then, yeah, we got some fire. All right, so we're good. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely good. We'll go clear out these infestations. Uh, let's check the gas in the car. Yeah, we should be perfectly fine. As long as we don't run into too many ferals. Might spread the love though. I have to mop them up.
don't hear any zombies. It said four yeah, zombies yeah, left. Where the hell did the screamer nice. come from? Uh. Stella, good night. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah, that was a little sketch. Um, I swear, I mean, I, I might have missed it, but didn't it only say if there was four zombies left? Empty. Let's hope the next place is better. So I never would have ran in the house like that if there was a screamer, but I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I get complacent, guys. There's a plague hard not too far away. place I'm looking for there was no screamer on the, the thing I guess swear there wasn't yeah that's what I thought Deliver that to the uh, the medics, and we'll clear out this infestation here. Nice. It worked out pretty well. You see that leg? Ah, uh, Zeno with the nine months. Thank you so much, Boot Gang. Good crap. Thought I had a few more seconds before he got to me. Rough. She took a good amount of plague there. And I'm out. Mr. DeMarc, how you doing? Alright, we should be good to go. Got another uh, infestation up there, but I don't want to risk her getting any more plagued. Because that will be a death. Gotta be careful driving even back to base. You hit a bloater, that's it.
Escape the salts, man. <laughs> hey. Hey, I appreciate you popping in, though, for real. So many ferals, dude. So we just gotta be careful because she's super plagued, so I wanna make sure I get rid of that just in case some ferals come. Got soft uh, on my main community, guys. I got a Haven device. So I, uh... Shit, I was supposed to drop off this, uh... Generator. Where is... Like the last thing you want is just all these damn ferals hanging around your base. Especially on this windy ass road. It's not even like it's a good like the, this entrance to this base is so sus. So we gotta remember this that big ass horde in the middle of the road down here. So we're gonna want to stay to the outskirts here. They could despawn. So you guys, next episode, Yoon's gonna have to. She's gonna have to take out at least four or five more play cards. Zombies are stuck in that rock, and when that happens, they just keep screaming over and over again. Uh, so yeah, I just want to avoid that as much as possible. Thank you. Okay, so I think there's still one more part of their quest. I should probably fill up my tank. The last thing we want to do is run out of gas.
So the house of the what does that mean? I don't even know what that means, right? House of the dragon? Better watch out for plague zombies. What is that, like a TV show or something? The spin-off of Game of Thrones? What do you mean? Did it come out? And you're watching it without me? Savage. When the hell did that come out? I didn't even know that came out. stuck on the rock. Right outside my base, man. This little windy road is a pain in the ass, I'll tell you what. I got meal plan? What do you mean? Who has meal plan? Oh, yeah, that one lady, right? Was it Rosa? Yeah, it was Rosa that had meal plan. So that's going to help out with food quite a bit. Man, we're, we're, we're doing good, guys. What does our food look like now? I mean, we got rationing, so yeah. We're in a super good spot right now, food-wise.
We'll be able to send Yun in and have her put in work. Because, look, we can come here. Uh, first of all, let me get the water turned on. Yoon will be able to put in work now, guys. Yoon has become the... Because, you know, without using play cures, this playthrough has become super dangerous for people clearing play cards. Yoon is our designated... I'll, I'll let her stay around, guys, but her job in the community is to kill play cards. That's it. Um... But now what we'll do... So I'll we'll craft up a bunch of these. One more stack. Yeah, 21 energy drinks. There it is, guys. See, now you can't say I didn't... No, nah, I'm not doing nice things. I'm letting her stay. Yoon can stay. The terrible survivor Yoon can stay in the community. But... Her job is Lake Heart Destroyer. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna outfit her. There it is. There's Yoon, guys. There she is. She gets to stay. But that's her job. Alright. There it is. You guys can't say I never did anything nice. I'm letting her stay. I'm probably, uh... One of these days, I need to just sit quietly and watch the sunrise. How many do I... I, I still gotta promote somebody. Yo, you know what? I'll make a leader. What? what? <sighs> traitor. We'll go with a traitor leader. If I even have a traitor. Rosa's trader, Cole's trader. Go Rosa, sure. And then one of the things we can look into doing uh, is getting this built. We're gonna need some more. Uh, we're gonna need some more materials, but then we'll focus on that next episode for sure but Yoon's gonna stay I actually like this base a lot uh it, it, it the layout of like the entrance is a little funky it only has two parking slots which kind of sucks uh especially for like a mid-tier base you know I'd like to at least have four but it is what it is um We're no smarter than the zombies. but it's got good good slots you know what four small slots two large slots Five man base, thousand influence, got good beds. You know what I mean? We're, we're, we're looking good. We're looking good, guys. But all right, everybody. We are going to end this episode here. Uh, I do appreciate all the support. We're working on 700 likes on the stream. That, that's huge. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this series. Uh, it's always nice to see, you know, when we jump back into State of Decay, uh, that you guys are still enjoying it, even though I've been playing it for on the channel for like <laughs> going on like three years. Uh, I, I'm glad that you guys enjoy it still. Um, so thank you all again. We'll be doing some more streams tomorrow. I'll be playing some scum and probably another game. I haven't, I'll, I'll figure that out tonight. Uh, what game I'm going to be playing. I don't know. Maybe there, cause there's a couple that I'm like really itching to play guys, like really itching to play. And that's between like, uh, you know, what? while we got, let me, this isn't going to decide for me. I'm going to, I'm going to ultimately make the decision myself, but if, you had to pick one. So even if you don't enjoy these as a series, which do you want to see first?
All right, so I got a poll coming out for you guys. Um, uh, see how many votes we can get on. If you guys want to help out, you know, help me just see where your guys' uh, mindset's at. Just trying to get an idea of where 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 uh where chat's mindset's at. <laughs> Lady X says, "Well, that is tough." Minecraft, hey, ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of Minecraft, right? Yeah, I I, I really uh, Wildlands was top on my list, um. It was between Wildlands and Dead Island, but all, all of these games are going to be getting played relatively soon, anyways. Uh, but I just, I was like, oh, if I were to start one, you know, which one would I start with? I've never played Dead Island before either. So, and then I seen that trailer for Dead Island 2, and I was like, man, you know, I'm excited about that. But Dead Island, something, you know, that we could also play getting closer to Dead Island 2 being released, but. XCOM, yeah, I've never played XCOM before. And uh Jonatas, thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. Uh, Jonatas? Yeah, I think it's Jonatas. Now type a one in chat, right? If it was a hard a hard choice for you because you would like, you know, you'd like a game all the same, but you could only pick one. How many of you guys got were like, oh man, I want this game, but I want this game at the same like like it but you obviously you can only pick one. How many of you guys like multiple games on this list? Okay, so so there's there's <laughs> there's some of you guys in obviously that Battle, so that was an easy choice for me. Okay, well, at least I know there's some, at least I know there's some interest. That's what I like to see. Um, obviously, I just was trying to, you know, feel out the temperature in the room, uh, but. M10X, what's uh, the obsession with that? I love zombie games. Um, not necessarily like just zombie games, but I mean, I, I do just love zombie games in general. Uh, one of my favorite genres. Uh, but I, I do prefer survival games. Like, So once you have a mix between zombie and survival, uh, that's like my ultimate genre for sure. Zombie games in in just in an essence of zombie games. There's plenty of zombie games out there that I just don't like. Like you know, like for instance, like uh, what is it? You know, like uh, what the hell is it? Uh, Dead Rising. That game is like it's a zombie game, but it's not one of my favorites. Like you know what I mean? But it is a zombie game. I like when a game is a mix between zombie and survival. Castillo Protocol. I actually uh, applied for early access for Castillo's Protocol. I highly doubt I'll get it because uh, you know I'm not really anybody. But we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'll get lucky and get early access. Yeah, I got a lot of games to play, guys. A lot of games to play. We still have to play all the Call of Duties. Um, not all the Call of Duties, but we, I've never, we got World at War left. Or not World at War. We got uh, Cold War, um, Modern Warfare. And then we have Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5. You guys were telling me that those two Battlefield games are really, really cool. Um, so we got those two games. And then obviously we got the new Modern Warfare coming out in October. So I would like to get all the Call of Duties and Battlefield beat before the new Modern Warfare drops. Uh, yeah, then like uh, Robert said, then we got Assassin's Creed. You know, we got to jump. We got so many games, guys. So many games.
Death Stranding. I don't know about that mailman game. No, no, no. We're we'll be playing uh, like Battlefield One, as in like the it, the game is called Battlefield One. I don't know why. Yeah, we're we're playing Watch Dogs. We're still actively playing Watch Dogs on the channel right now. If we added chess to the list, it would go sky high. <laughs> Oh, Raft. Yeah, that was definitely that was definitely a game uh I heard about. Yeah, I never I never really looked. Is there is that game like got a lot of sharks in it and shit? I don't know about that. <sighs> but all right guys, thank you again for hanging out tonight. Like I said, we'll be playing some more scum tomorrow along with something else. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, if you have it on your way out, hey, smash that like button. I appreciate over 700 likes on the stream. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hey, please consider subscribing. It really, really means the world to me. And again, for all the support, all the love that you guys shown today, I really appreciate it. And uh, can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. You all have a good night, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.